welcome back to my channel, it's Cerise here, and for today's video I have a review on the Real Techniques Miracle Sculpting Sponge. Now this retails for $16.99 US dollars, and apparently it sculpts and makes your face look amazing. So, it is the Real Techniques by Sam and Nick Finish Miracle Sculpting Sponge. It's new, it's pink, it's cute, I really like the shape of it. I think it would be really nice getting those little like, nooks and crannies everywhere. But it says on the back, designed to help create shadows or highlight your favorite facial features. Use damp for a dewy glow or dry for a full coverage finish. Six surfaces expertly cut for controlled application. Ideal for powders, creams, and liquid. And then re replace every one to three months. See, I'm gross and I have beauty blenders that are like a year old. They're still going strong. I still like them. So <laughs> It's just on me though. It's not on anyone else, so it's okay. But anyway... Let's open this up. Let's see if $16.99 is worth it for a beauty blender. Real Techniques is kind of a more of an expensive one. Um, it's kind of like the New Zealand and Australia version of the beauty blender. So I'm excited to see if this is what it looks like here. Kind of looks a bit questionable. Do you know what I mean? But it feels like it's got a good amount of bounce to it. I think I do want to actually wet it. I'm like, I feel like that's going to be in there really good. But it says for an airbrush finish, you don't wet it. So I'm like, maybe... Wait, what did it say on the back? For a full coverage finish. So maybe we'll just use it dry for a full coverage finish. Let's do that then. Make sure I'm putting it in the right spot. Just kind of a little bit here. And then what do I want to do? Maybe a little bit down here. Something like that. Like so, like that. Alright. Let's use this like little guy here. Just kind of blend in this side. I need a mirror. I cannot see anything. Alright. Let's see. All right, so I'm just blending it with this. I mean, it's obviously looking really good. So this is the cream version. So I'm like, maybe I'll get the dry one to give it a go. I oh, need a little bit of concealer because I feel like I didn't need that much. A little goes a long way, guys. All right, so I've done that. All right. Oh, maybe under here. Hang on. Let me buff the nose with the larger one, and then I'll use the little one for under the eyes and the eyebrow for like this side. I mean as for shape wise it's really like I think it's quite nice because you can use this as like a wee handle. So I'm not that mad at the actual shape of it. I mean the Beauty Blender shape is fine normally and the point of it's really good to get under the eyes. That's why I think the other side of this point would be really good to use. Okay and then so we've used that side now let's use this little guy. Oh that feels weird. Oh god. Because it feels like you've got no control of that little bump. But let's see. See how versatile she is. I wonder how it would be with the powders though. I suppose you'd just be like putting your own powder in. I mean when you're just bouncing off it's fine. Here I'm just like having a yarn to myself. I mean it's doing it's job. It is doing... It's blending. It's doing the blending. But we're just going to see if the shades are cute. Because of course it's going to do it's job. Alright, so we've blended all that. I'm like, I feel like it's going to be, like, the bouncy bit would be really good for doing on foundation. So I've already done my foundation beforehand though. So I'm just like, mm. but I feel like I could press in some powder. So maybe I'll do that. Open up my powder here. Ooh, what are we going to do? I'm just going to kind of brush it on. See, we'll just pat it in. Because this powder smells so good. I love it. Normally I brush on my powder, so this is really going to press it in and seal everything up, do you know what I mean? I feel like if it was wet it would have been better, because it dry it's not like the nicest feeling, do you know what I mean? Alright, now I'm going to pat on like some blush and stuff like that, I'm just going to kind of see, I'm just going to use like this dippy end, I'm just going to dip it in there and just kind of push in a little bit of it. Let's see, I've never really used a beauty blender to do this kind of thing, but I'm now I'm using the flat end to kind of smush it out. So I've got some blush on there. Let's make this end again. Okay, alright. So we've got that blush in, cute, alright. Alright, and then I'm going to get the bronzer, and I'm just going to use this nibby part here. Let's see. Ooh. Oh. Okay. All right. I mean, maybe we just kind of blend it up. All right. So that you just do. Oh. Okay. Oh yeah. Oh. 
Oh, she's bronzed. Okay, so the edges are kind of pushing it back. Now, the base that I've got on is a BB cream. It isn't a foundation, because I didn't know if it would like move it all around. But it's still not getting the BB cream off, so that's good. I'm just going to use this big bit to kind of wipe it in. I feel like if you got this wet enough. Oh, no, I'm just going to. Oh, yeah. Oh, I like that. There you go. Oh, this would be really good for contouring the nose. Hang on. Let me get this. I'm using the rounded edge side, though. Just to kind of. Yes. Oh, yeah. She's contoured now, baby. She's contoured now, baby. I have it. Okay, and then I'm just gonna get the ball part of it, just this bit, just to kind of pad in some contour up here. Even though my fringe covers it, it's still it's still cute for me to know that it's there. All right, and then I'm gonna use the very tip. Well, no, I'm gonna use the flat side of this bit to kind of put on some highlighter. So if we just kind of, yeah, okay, okay, yeah. Oh yes, okay. I see. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, it definitely has worked with blending everything in. Okay, so I've used the sponge to blend in my entire face, except foundation, and yeah, it works. It's really good with using all the contour bits. You can see literally all the colors I've put on. I use this side, this side, this side, this side, this side, this side, and like this side. It's really, you know, I think that my skin does look really airbrushed and does look really nice. Yeah, it's all gone really nicely. It worked. Did exactly what it said it was going to do. Is it worth $16.99? Yeah, I would say so. I would say so. It did what it wanted to do. Did what I was wanting it to do. It was nice and easy. It didn't take too long either. Blended everything out, else out quite nicely. It's taken under 10 minutes to do. So, yeah, good sponge. What I think of it, I'd buy it again. I think I want to try it wet though, so we'll see how it goes with me trying it wet, but if it can do this while it's dry, beauty blenders are just better when they're wet. Everything is. But our beauty blenders are better when they're wet, so I'm excited to see how it would go with that if it's this amazing dry. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with this. I think it's really, really cute. Looks nice. So yeah, let me know in the comments down below if you guys have tried this miracle contour sponge. Let me know in the comments down below. But until next time, I love you guys so much, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye!